What's going on guys? Steel here. Like I said, I'm really trying to bring new content to my channel, so I figured I'd show what came in today. This is a Spyderco Spy DK. I think it's relatively newly released. Um, I think within like the last, I don't know, a few months. It's very orange. I tried to adjust my camera to kind of better captivate how orange it is but I still didn't do very well. Anyway, it's basically similar to like the UK PK or the Pingo, pretty sure that's what it was, where they were designed to be legal to carry in a specific place. And <clears throat> this one was designed around Denmark, similar I think to again like the Pingo. And they have pretty restrictive <clears throat> carry limits. So basically, it's a pretty small folder. It still fits my hand really well, which surprised me. Obviously, this part of the handle, no way. <laughs> my pinky just overhangs. But in the choil, it's a very comfortable, very natural feeling. Some knives didn't feel very well. Like, I think I tried the Cali, the smaller one. And it just... I don't know, sometimes when that spider hole's too high, it just feels like my thumb is jacked way high. It just makes it uncomfortable. This falls naturally in, and falls uh, similar to, like, certain Ed Shemp designs where he talks about lining up the handle and blade designs for the cutting task and also um, with your bone structure and your hands and arm. It feels good. It feels like it lines right up going up and uh, right in line with your upper forearm bone. It's ground pretty thin. My caliper's battery was pretty much dead so I could only measure near the heel. Right around the heel it looked like it was averaging about um, 18 thousand thick. And with the pretty extreme taper I'm sure it gets probably closer to like 10, 15 thou in the tip and belly area. And that's nice. A nice lean cutter. You know, you probably heard me tell it a thousand times to you guys that I like thin knives. Don't care for the current trend as much. Um, just don't understand it. Anyway, the um, manufacturer is actually kind of hard to catch there. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, it's bad. I'm going to guess Menaggio, Italy. I don't know, uh, it made me wonder when I saw that they were in Italy if maybe perhaps this was manufactured by Lion Steel. Uh, I know they're in Italy. I'm not really sure on that. It is N690CO Steel from Bowler. It's uh, real similar in composition to 440C. It has some additional manganese and vanadium. Although the vanadium content is really low. I think it's like 0.10%. So it's probably in there just for grain refinement during heat treat. You're really not going to see it like, you know, um, increase. It wouldn't just be like a jump from 440C. It's compared also to like VG10. Um, all of those are pretty similar in composition, you know. So, uh, the walk and talk is really nice. It has a half stop right there. And its back spring is pretty snappy. I'm, I'm sure you can hear it snap. And that's nice. Uh, probably part of the design is to have your finger in the choil so that, you know, even if it closed, it's not going to go anywhere. And it feels pretty robust, really, for a slip joint. Wire clip. I happen to like it on these lighter designs. Not always on some of the heavier designs, but anyway. So that's it for now, guys. I'm going to continue to use it. It's going to be my carry at work. I open a lot of different things. So, Alright, thanks for always watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, have a good one.